24 Live Another Day, my last quick review. After the unfathomable season 8, it was known to us that a possible movie was in the works. The way season 8 left us was nothing short of inescapable tropes and cliches, leading us to a somewhat non-ending with some self-imposed epicness that it did not earn. The movie of 24 was played with and explored for some time, but nothing came to fruition. Once the series finally ended, focus came back to 24 the movie. In response to that, after the little trash heap that was season 8, four years later, we get 24 Live Another Day. 24 Live Another Day is our movie. It is the true, final chapter to the legacy of 24. Here we see characters we hadn't seen in a long while. Audrey Reigns and James Heller, last seen in season 6, where Audrey is now married and her father is now President of the United States. As the years went by, Jack, Audrey, Heller, and Chloe are all in much darker places than before. President Heller's in London negotiating a treaty over the drones being used and also battling Alzheimer's. Jack has been tracking Chloe O'Brien for some time as she had joined a group that Jack disapproves of. Jack, of course, resurfaces at the same time of Heller's arrival at London, causing speculation as to why he surfaced after all this time, and also Chloe's disposition. Opposite to Jack Bauer, we have Kate Morgan. Who would you consider a female version of Jack Bauer? Someone who is a go-getter, someone who actually takes upon themselves to understand the situation, and if it doesn't look right, do something about it to find out what the truth really is. Kate Morgan is an very vulnerable position for herself considering that in the CIA, which is where a lot of the action takes place, Kate is dealing with the onset of her husband allegedly selling classified information to the Chinese and committed suicide while in custody. So she's at this point where she's leaving the CIA, but the moment that Jack comes into play, it suddenly sparks some interest for her to figure out what's going on. And she does this brilliantly. Meanwhile, our villain, Margot Al-Harazi, plans her revenge against London due to past histories and the loss of her husband. This is a return to form that I had been waiting for. Jack is more badass than ever. Chloe is more vulnerable than she had ever been. Margot, our villain, is compelling enough. And a president that is personally integrated in the mix who has a rough time remembering things as he deals with the crisis. Now, I was cruel and harsh to 24 season 8, but I stand by how I feel, because I felt the story could have been a lot better and not so impersonal. Here, Live Another Day is not impersonal. In fact, it's quite personally driven. Now, Jack has his reasons for resurfacing. Chloe handles her grief by doing things within her character. Hell, I even like the relevancy to uh, Heller's Alzheimer's because it worked for the plot. The biggest thing that worried me and paid off very well was Jack and Audrey. Their time together was wonderfully portrayed. All in all, this is the proper send-off to 24 with these characters I have been waiting for. While I'm not big on giving out spoilers, I do have to mention the last three hours to the finale, which is a 12-episode arc rather than the typical 24. They nailed it. They absolutely 100% nailed it. Not only did they close off continuous storylines for Jack, they wrapped up a lot of closure that needed to happen for most characters. If not bittersweet, this was treated extremely well. So for that, I'm going to give 24 Live Another Day, the true final season, an A. I mean, what can I say? This season made me happy. This ends my reviews for 24. It's been one hell of a ride for the last nine days, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. 24 Legacy actually comes out today after the Super Bowl. And I'll be reviewing that on Monday when the first two episodes are complete in syndication. If you guys are going to go see 24 Legacy tonight, by all means, tell me what you anticipate and what you're excited for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.